suspension is a very important part of our bike. And the primary goal of suspension is to keep the tires in contact with the track surface as much as possible. And it also has a lot of influence on the load we put on the front tire during braking and corner entry, as much on the rear tire during accelerating. And without the proper suspension setup, we lose the traction of the tires easy. And of course, this has a lot of influence on the tire performance. Both suspension units, the front fork and the rear shock, exist out of two components. One is the spring and one is the damper. But there is a significant difference between the front fork and the rear shock, where the rear shock is just a, a suspension unit, but the front fork has two more functions. One, it's just holding the front wheel in its place, and it also contributes to the chassis stiffness, where the spring absorbs the bumps and the imperfections of the truck, and the damper controls the spring's motion. The suspension itself also insulates the chassis and the rider from all the bumps and imperfections of the truck surface, but it also minimizes the forces under acceleration, braking and cornering. We can change our shower suspension in many, many areas, but of course, speaking about the race weekend, uh, where time is limited, we only focus on the combination of spring and preload, and also compression and rebound dumping. For example, in a test where we have more time, of course, we, we know our limitations we face during race weekends. We will explore also internal changes, but also stiffness changes during a test. Sure, there are differences between riders and riding styles, but once you have a proper base setup, the differences are really, really small. It mostly depends on the ideas and the experience of the crew chiefs. Uh, that's a funny question. A typical feedback of a rider is I can't stop, I can't turn, and there's not enough traction. 